you guys have been together for how long? So I was fortunate to meet Scott about nine years ago and uh, back then we didn't even know we could get married. Um, and we did get married. We were on Camera our honeymoon audio. and we discussed having kids and we said we wanted a family and so now that it's possible, we started taking the steps to do that. So we registered with a private attorney uh, for an adoption process. And went I've through. got to stop you. Okay. You haven't introduced yourself. Oh, I'm Scott. <laughs> oh, do it. From Ohio. Yeah. I'm from Ohio, from Cleveland, Thank world you. champions. Yeah! Go Finally. LeBron! Go LeBron! <laughs> <laughs> and I married this cheeky Brit. I we're hoping to have a, you know, a little Chiquita. When when did this process start as of we today? We started the process about seven months ago. We went through a social work process um, through the county of Los Angeles and then we went through training. Um, which, training? Yeah, there's a whole training. training. Who knew? Who knew? Taught to be this a parent, yeah. Course study in social work classes that you go through that teach you about parenting. Wow. Basically. That's really Would they give you like a handbook? Yeah, there's, there's a, a handbook and then videos to watch and then they do home visits and yeah. check that like, you know, you've got, you know, your spa covered in locked so it's not open. <laughs> it's a whole shebang. Like yeah, a yeah. psych test? Meanwhile, like yeah. You know, you show? Show? And you actually yes. write, a, you write an autobiography about yourself and then a little bit about your other half. And photos. All yeah. kinds of things. I mean, this yeah. kind of seems like an interview for the next Bachelor. I mean, yeah. 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 It is a little bit like you, that. Yeah. yeah. You create a photo book actually of your story, your life. Yeah. So the oh, attorney so then sends those out to, to expecting birth mothers. We decided mm -hmm. that we wanted whatever the universe said yeah. was going to come into our family. That. Yeah. So Boy or We're girl not choosing. or race. Yeah. Yeah. It's just like when choosing. a straight yeah. couple then decides, okay, we're going to start a family. And there's always yeah. that tipping point where, okay, I'm going to go off the pill right, or yeah, this is right. what's going to happen. And you never know what's going to happen know. then. Well, but you make a conscious decision that yes. that might then change your life. So we made that conscious decision. We'll go live and the right baby will, fingers crossed, fall in our lap. Wow. Now, if it doesn't happen, it doesn't happen. Right. But I'm hoping, you know, yeah. I'm But you're there with arms open. Yeah, whatever We're happens. You're happens. ready. Yeah. There are a little bit of expectations and yeah. hopes and, yeah. you, you know, you get a phone call and you get your hopes built up and then um, 48 hours later you may get another phone call that says um, well they've chosen somebody else or they've decided to parent themselves or they're in a methadone clinic or whatever the, whatever the circumstances are there are certain things that we can either say yes to or um, agree to walk away and you know we want it to be the right decision for us it's a life decision but at the same time we're very open and we're hoping that whatever it is that comes our way the next call we get is the one that so but we are literally waiting for the phone to ring. So the, the pamphlet's gone out? Yes. Yeah, so it goes out whenever... So we've been live technically. They call it live, like, being live. Yeah. Live, oh you are live. We're and live. Then, like and this. they pick the um, birth mothers and choose, hopefully, ours. You know, choose and, them! Yeah, choose I would, them. I would. I would happily be adopted into this family. Oh. You'd be so spoiled you, with love and attention. Baby it's ridiculous. Arrives in these guys' yeah. lives. <laughs> oh. And he's oh. tough like daddy. Oh, he's so gorgeous. So since we chatted last, mm. we did go live. So this book um, is a, called a Dear Birth Mother book. So yeah. this went out mm -hmm. across America, I guess. Yes. She chose us in the top three. He chose us in his top three. Oh. And so we then met. Literally, she was six weeks from giving birth. Wow. So we were just like, okay, this is going to be a Happy. fast ride. Yeah. Yeah. And we bonded with her for like five weeks and yeah. then, you know, we're there at the birth and yeah. miracle happened. And here he is. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you, well, you look well at her. It feels like you've done this before. <laughs> and clearly we have not done this before. Uh, but, um, you know, like anything else, you get thrown into the deep end of the yeah. pool and you learn to swim really fast. And lots so, of cups of tea. Yeah. Lots of tea. <laughs> so you learn to swim without sleep. Is what you learn, but it's all worth it because 
I mean, it's uh, it's hard to believe in our life that you know, from coming out of the closet to being in a society where it was never in our realm of possibility to even be married, yeah. and now here we are, all these years later, and we have a family. It's just you know, it's yeah. Because when we started dating, we weren't even allowed to get married, you know, and. In California, which is a progressive state, marriage was still illegal between yeah. the same sex. And then suddenly we could get married and we threw together a fabulous wedding, of course. And, <laughs> of course. Um, and actually I Cam was there being yeah. fabulous. <laughs> Cam was there being fabulous, not drinking, and we know why after, after the fact. Because Louis' girlfriend was inside. Yeah, Louis' <laughs> Louis's future wife was yeah. hanging out. Which is a, she's over here. <laughs> <laughs> Your future wife. And then, um, you know, and it has been a learning curve for everyone involved. But I think, you know, people have come to us and said, oh my God, you're like role models. Mm -hmm. Especially, mm, you know, in the gay community where you know, there's young kids and older than us, and I think we're at that cross section of, we are just about to get married. Meanwhile, there's, you know, gay guys that are about 10 years older than us that were like, never even thought of yes. that. And then, and then young gay guys now know they can get married and are amazed that we're adopting yeah. a baby. Analogy, and yes, so family. they're like, know that this could be part of yes. their dream, you know? Exactly. The other thing that I will say is that, you know, in wanting to be a parent and, and then fully realizing it and it's now happened, it kind of feels surreal in a way, but in the best way where, you know, you start to feel, I start have started to feel connected again to the universe. Mm -hmm. Like you start to go as a gay man, you go, well, what is next for me in my yeah. life? You get to a certain age, you know, mm -hmm. in your 40s, and you go, well, is there something after me? Right, yeah, what's the next progression? Everyone what? else procreates and they start the circle of life. Yeah. And, and now that we're part of that, it just, we, we feel even more close to our family. Mm -hmm. And deep connection, and it just it feels really amazing. They come together. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Thank you. So thank happy you. for you. Yay! Hooray! Another happy Yay. ending. Yay! Yay! Yay. <laughs> <laughs>